Hi, this is uh, Captain Vince. <clears throat> I got a little bit of a cold, so I apologize in advance. Um, what we're going to be going over today is the squid jig, mostly used for fluke and sea bass, but primary fluke. Um, what's unique about this uh, bucktail is that it has several uh, contact points to tie your line to. So if you have a strong moving current, you would tie your your line to to this right here to this location and that would allow this bucktail to kind of go up and down a movement like this if you have slow moving water you might want to tie the bucktail straight on top and that will give you a different action going up and down so that's what these two connectors are for uh, two different ways you could move the bucktail on the back of this bucktail you'll see that there are two line connectors. There's one back here that I'm going to talk about in a moment right there. And then there's this one right here. This bucktail comes with a small, I think it's about probably a 3.0 hook. Um, it's smaller than what I like, um, but for sea bass and so forth, it seems to be a, a perfect um, hook to hide in the skirting. So what we do with this hook is if we're going to be fishing with this hook, we would use a, um, a small grub. This is the four inch grub. And what we would do is we would put this grub right on here. Now you don't need to use plastic. You could actually go with and use like a, just a piece of squid uh, or a fluke belly or an otter tail of some kind, or you could use an all pro teaser grub. And you could now fish that just like this with that there so that's how you would do that and you don't even need this this extra um, connector here you wouldn't use that there or you might want to use a trailer so what you would do is you could connect a line here tie a line there and come right back out here and you you could snell a hook on and then put like a trailer and put a piece of squid off off that hook so that would um, you know, give you another option and another look. That's all that is there for. What we like to do, and we provide this, is we use a big 7 -0 hook. This is for our fluke, because we're fishing more for like a doormat fluke, a larger fluke. And what we do is that we remove, you can see here, we remove the split ring and that small hook, and we provide these hooks with the kits and you just put that hook on there. What I like to do is I use my crimps. And I would just go and grab it and give it a quick little crimp like that. And now that's a nice swinging hook. Doesn't come off. It's solid. It faces up in the right direction, the way I like it at least. And then what we would do with something like that is you could, again could run a squid off of it or some people run spearing or an otter tail but again at all pro we use one of our larger grubs these are our six inch fat daddies and we would put that on just about like this here bring it around and give it that type of presentation now again you can fish it from either eyelet. We like to fish it from the front eyelet because we like that movement it gives, especially with this long tail. I mean, the action is just phenomenal. Um, and that's the, uh, the squid bucktail. Uh, it's a great bucktail. It's a little over two ounces. I think with our larger uh, six inch uh, fat daddy grub, it comes out to maybe two and a half ounces in that range. Um, and it's, it's irresistible. There's just so much action involved in this. There's a lot of movement, a lot of color. Um, and it's a no-brainer if you're going fluke fishing. you got to have one of these in your tackle box. If your spros aren't working or if um, your live bait isn't moving, uh, acting well, you try one of these. Um, again, it gives a presentation of uh, a lot of action. And it's just a really good, uh, whatchamacallit, presentation. I'll see you guys on the water. You have a good one.